Hallelujah. Lift up your hands to heaven. Father, we come to you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. We give you thanks of the gathering of your leaders, men and women of God, whom you have brought from 20 nations and from all the 47 counties of this nation. I want to honor you, Lord, and give you praise. I pray, Lord, as we share your word, may you give me utterance. May you give me to reach to the hearts and not the minds of the people. Thank you and bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. And all God's people shout a big amen. You may be seated. Genesis chapter 41 and verse 41. Genesis chapter 41 and verse 41. See, I have set you over all the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh took his signet ring off his hand and put it on Joseph's hand and he clothed him in garments of fine linen and put a gold chain around his neck. And he had him ride in the second chariot which he had and they cried out before him, Bow the knee. So he set him over all the land of Egypt. Verse 46. Joseph was 30 years old when he stood before Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And Joseph went out from the presence of Pharaoh and went throughout all the land of Egypt. I want you to take note of the words of that verse. It says, and Joseph went out from the presence of Pharaoh and went throughout all the land of Egypt. Now, in the seven plentiful years, the ground brought forth how? Abundantly. Verse 50. And to Joseph were born two sons before the year Years of famine came. Om Aseranath, the daughter of Potiphera, priest of On, bore to him. Joseph called the name of the firstborn Manasseh. For God has made me forget all my toil and all my father's house. The name of the second he called Ephraim. For God has caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. 
Then the seven years of plenty which were in the land of Egypt ended. Somebody who has had the word of God read say, I am ready to go. You have not talked like you are ready. Say, I am ready to go. Look at your neighbor, tell them, neighbor, I am ready to go. Some of you don't look like you are ready to go. Look at somebody behind you. Ask them, are you ready to go? Tell your neighbor, whether you like it or not, it's time to go. The Bible says, Joseph left the presence of Pharaoh. He left the presence of Pharaoh because the time of harvest had begun. From the day that he left the presence of Pharaoh, the Bible says, and the land produced abundantly. I am here to make a declaration. If you are not ready to go, it means you don't understand that the seasons have changed. And I am declaring to you, it is time to go. Why? Because ahead of you is seven years that you are going to be fruitful. It is seven years that you are going to forget. Oh my Jesus. I say you are going to forget your afflictions that you have gone through before this season began. It's time to go. Where are you going? You are going in the harvest. You are going in the harvest. The Bible says Joseph left the presence of Pharaoh. How did he leave the presence of Pharaoh? He left the, the presence of Pharaoh a completely transformed man. You cannot make a difference if you leave word explosion the same way you came. You can't leave word explosion with a spirit of slavery. You can't leave word explosion in the spirit of prison. You can't leave word explosion in the spirit of unbelief. You, ah. Transformation is you becoming completely new. Leaving the form that you were in and getting into a new form. Uh, let me let me bring you to where we are because I see some of you are still, you are still in the time past. Your time past is past. It is called history. You need to forget all your failures. 
you need to forget all your successes. Everything that is in the past is history. Good or bad. And it can easily stop your progress. Look at your neighbor. Tell them neighbor. Next time you see me again. In word explosion, you may not recognize me. Some of you don't understand what we are doing. Let me help you. These are not things we are saying, it's not just confessions. It is what God will do. If you can believe it, it is what God will do. If you can believe it, when the time comes for God to bring out the greatness that he created you for. You can't stay in prison. I say you can't stay in prison. You can't stay in a place where nobody recognizes you. When your time for manifestation comes, it doesn't matter where you are. God will light his torch over your life and somebody will come for you. Ah, I don't want you to live word explosion to go living like you are coming from an ordinary place. I am releasing you into the harvest. If you are a businessman, you better listen to me. You're going to make money that you have never even imagined you can make. Not because of how shrewd you are as a business person, but because of the season. I say because of the season. If you've been dreaming of building a house, Ah! These seven years, you're going to build your dream house and you're going to live in it. I don't know, I don't know who is here. Tell your neighbor, it is time to go. It is time, ah! You are living my presence. To go into something that is bigger than your prayer. You're going into something that is greater than your imagination. You are going into some. Ah! Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who I am talking to. I don't know who can believe the report of the Lord. I don't know to whom the hand of the Lord will be revealed, but I am here to tell you the hand of the Lord will be revealed to those who believe the prophets. Because if you believe the prophets, you will prosper. I stand as a prophet of God. I step into the office of a prophet. I may not be a prophet, but I step into, into the office of a prophet. And I want you to know I am not speaking under the unction of the flesh. I am speaking 
under the anointing of the Most High. God has kept this word deep in my heart to release a, an impartation for greatness for harvest that cannot that cannot be stopped by circumstances that cannot be stopped by your enemies that cannot be stopped by the curses of wicked men that cannot be stopped by your brothers who who call you dead Ah, what I am releasing, what I am releasing, is the word that cannot fall to the ground. God will watch over what I am saying. He will fulfill it. Oh my God. So I'm preaching about going look for five people and tell them if you don't go you will be irrelevant if you stay you will be irrelevant you must go 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 Miss your timing. Don't miss your timing. Don't miss your opportunity. something there is an anointing there is an anointing during the time of harvest Joseph got two sons they didn't come in the time of famine He got two sons. I think I need to tell you something else. When he stood before Pharaoh, he was a bachelor. He had no wife. When he, when he left to go, he already had a wife. of Pharaoh he already had a wife when he came in the presence of Pharaoh he came walking he came walking but when he left to go he left with a second on the second chariot he was not walking he was riding in a new car ah and it was 
was not a car. It was a limousine. You know where he has come from? The previous day, he was wearing prison garments. Today, they put on new garments on him so that he can come and stand before Pharaoh. When he stands before Pharaoh, the garments they put on him, everything they put on him was just to impress Pharaoh. When he leaves, he is not going to impress anybody. He is going to produce. May you leave word explosion to go and produce. You are not going to impress anybody. We're not dressing you up with a garment of impressing people. We are dressing you up with an anointing of performance. You are going out there to make a difference. Somebody shout yes, yes, yes. Oh my Jesus. Yeah, I wanted to be a good boy. I just wanted to pray a good prayer and send people away. My daddy, he said, no son, go tell them to go. Go tell them to go. I'm preaching about going. I'm preaching about going. We have been here for seven days. The seven days are ending now. And I am saying, go, 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 go. It would be a grievous mistake for you to go the way you came. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, you cannot afford to go the same way you came. first day or the second day or the third day or the fourth day or the fifth day or the sixth day today is the seventh Perfecting the work. Sit down. I think I need to finish up this. You may have come in as an ordinary preacher. Maybe nobody celebrates you. You are not going out the same way. You are not going out the same way. Because an annoying thing for seven days of plenty is coming upon you right now. What you didn't have, you leave this place with it. Mm. You know, when you come next year, you may not recognize me.
You thought you are the only ones changing? When you come next year, <laughs> you may not know. You may look at me and say, who is that? They have been assigned to me of what God is going to do.